Today we're going to be making marinade skirt steak. I'm going to go ahead and season my steak. Just put a little bit, maybe a teaspoon or so of sea salt. I'm not going to really measure it out. Just kind of measure it with my gut feeling. But maybe like a teaspoon or so of sea salt. I'm just going to put that on one side for now. Then because I'm also going to make sure that I blend it all in. Good teaspoon of black pepper. I'm actually going to use some red pepper flakes. You can use cayenne pepper if you want. Oh, got to put quite a bit on there. I think this is about two teaspoons of uh, red pepper flakes that I put on there and you can actually depends on the amount of heat that you want so you kind of decide on what you want to put on there even though I'm going to use some fresh garlic in that I'm also going to put on a little bit of garlic powder about a teaspoon of garlic powder on this just because even though I'm using the fresh garlic it just still gives it a very good flavor in, in the marinade so I'm also going to put a little bit of onion powder or maybe like a teaspoon of onion powder and notice I'm saying onion uh, powder and not onion salt I'm just going to go ahead and just really just mix it up with my hand a little bit here okay so I have my seasoning pretty much blended in the way I want it to so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to put use a blender for this but this is about a fourth cup that I'm putting in here of balsamic vinegar and the balsamic vinegar along with the Worcestershire sauce is going to break down the connective tissue in the meat so let me just go ahead and measure this out about a fourth cup I'm going to put in this is Worcestershire sauce about a fourth cup if you didn't have balsamic vinegar in the house you could also use lime juice would work just just as good. Let's say that's about a good fourth cup. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. So that's my balsamic vinegar, fourth cup. My Worcestershire sauce, about a fourth cup. I already have my garlic here that I've cut up. I just, oops, I just dropped one of them. So now I'm down to about three, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that in there. It also calls for cilantro. And so I had some that I had made, uh, bought a little while ago, and I used to let it go bad because sometimes you get it in bunches and for tacos and what have you and you end up not using it all but I I froze this it's still nice and it still smells very fresh okay so there you go I had to wrestle it to get it out of the bag but I'm gonna put it in there and this is a maybe a good uh, tablespoon maybe a half and so I'm gonna go ahead oh and also just this is about a, a little less than a half of a red onion so I'm just gonna go ahead let me cut it up just one time just kind of break it up like that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it in and I like red onions just because they are full of robust flavor so I really like this if you had shallots you could use shallots as well which is another form of onion I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this in there and then just top it up okay so let's turn it on here I think I have it plugged in no let's get it plugged in okay there you go it's plugged in so let me just go ahead and put it on high and uh, it only takes a few minutes Let's see, there we go. It only takes a few minutes, and this is a really wonderful ninja blender that my children bought, gave me for, let's see, I think it was a Christmas present they gave me. They gave it to me for a Christmas present. Oh, you know what? One thing I did not put in there, I bought a fourth cup of olive oil, so let me let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put about a fourth cup of olive oil, and I'll blend it. I will put it back through the blender again. But what I like about this dish is that when I found this recipe, because I'm always on the lookout for good, healthy, clean eating recipes, and when I saw this, I knew that I wanted to make it. And um, But what I like about it was, and one of the things that I said was, I'm going to use what's in the house. And so it didn't matter what the recipe said, I was going to use what I had in the house. And that's one of the things that I like about this recipe is that everything that it called for, I had in the house. And the reason I had it in the house is because when I turned my... Uh, eating habits around uh, the Holy Spirit began to deal with me about the things that I ate and so I knew I needed to make a lifestyle change so one of the things that I did was I did a kitchen makeover and clean up my pantry my refrigerator I started over and so the thing with that is in terms of keeping a healthy environment in your home if you want to maintain your wellness you want to lose the weight you want to keep it off you want to maintain your wellness one of the things that I strongly encourage is that you do a kitchen makeover because that is so key to maintaining your healthy lifestyle getting it started maintaining it and then keep it going and that is a kitchen makeover so no matter what I I need is typically usually in my cabinets in my refrigerator in my cabinets and so I think on my website and download kitchen makeover I strongly recommend it because everything that I needed for the skirt steak recipe was already in my kitchen cabinets um, I just recommend doing a kitchen makeover okay so let me just go ahead and turn this back on and blend this all right here we go 
after I already went ahead and took the blade out of my blender and I'm just gonna pour this over and also you know everything that I put on the beef beforehand um, you could also could have just put that in the blender as well but I just kind of like to season my meat the way I did it just because I, I have a better gauge of uh, what the flavor is going to be so just take a look at that all of that uh, cilantro is in this uh, you see the green cilantro there that's let's go ahead and mix this up a little bit more here to get a blend I'm trying not to put my hands in it anymore this is going to be a really really good flavor for steak you know you can have steak fajitas you can make your steak sandwich just about whatever you want to do with it but uh, for sure try to make some steak fajitas with this I'm going to take it and put it in the refrigerator I'm going to cover it I'm going to let it sit it's about six o'clock in the evening my time here so it'll marinate uh, probably until I'm back in the house well actually you know I'll, I'll get up in the morning and do it because it shouldn't marinate no more than eight to ten hours and I do have an indoor grill it's a cast iron one that I'm going to put on the stove and I'll show you that uh, when I start cooking this okay so so my steak has marinated now for um, several hours overnight. I got my grill all going here, getting good heat to it. I'm just going to go ahead and take some olive oil in a container here and I'm just going to brush some onto the um, onto the grill. This is a cast iron grill that I really got at a discounted local store here in the area where I live. I encourage you not to just go and spend out tons of money for stuff but it really holds the heat. It cooks evenly between cast iron and, and stainless the steel those are my two favorite those are my two favorite uh, cookware so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna get my the steak here just a little bit closer to my grill and I'm, I've already kind of taken off of some of the marinade I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the grill and I should have got my tongues out so I can handle a little bit better there we go usually that year you're here and that means that the grill is ready to go and just depending on whether you want it uh, rare or well done, that depends on how long you cook it. You can cook it and maybe if you want it rare, maybe three, four minutes on each side. So that kind of depends on what your taste is. And uh, they look good. So I'm hoping that they taste as good as they look. Now this is a new uh, marinade that, I've tr that I'm trying out. So we shall see. You know, like I say, don't be afraid to try new things. This this looks really delicious, doesn't it? Just in the, the marinade itself. I have this wonderful stove where the inside, the center aisle has a space where I can put my grill. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Let's see here. So let this cook maybe three, four minutes on this side. I may turn my heat up just a little bit more because I want to make sure it really cooks. I, if you cook it on a high flame, I don't really want to uh, to boil. I really want it to sizzle. So I turn that up a little bit more. This is pasture-raised skirt steak. And anytime you can afford organic pasture-raised, go for it. Just because it's so much healthier for you. And uh, this meat, it, it's, it's more lean. Uh, you don't get all the streaks. Hoping that it's really tender from the uh, Worcestershire sauce and the balsamic vinegar that was part of the marinade. Now I love this grill because it gives, just kind of gives you marks on it just like you would have it on the grill outside. So I like that. Sometimes it's just kind of fun just to do grilling inside. If you need to turn on the blower, go right ahead. I'm not going to do that just because I want you to be able to hear me. But sometimes it's just fun just to do it inside and you want to have some grill marks on your meat. You know, go ahead. Why not? Let's take a peek under there. I'm going to let it sit just a little bit longer. I'll turn my heat up. So, well, that looks good. And it smells good in here too, by the way. It really smells good. While this is cooking, just want to just remind you again about all the different resources that are on the website. NutritionWithAnnie.com and um, the reason I did that is, like I said, I had a real struggle with eating healthy when the Holy Spirit began to deal with me about things that I was putting in my body and just really destroying His temple, to be quite honest. And when He did that, I tried my best to do what He wanted me to do and put more fruits and vegetables, nuts, grains, fruits and vegetables in my diet, less of the fast food type things, which is what I was eating. And uh, it was a struggle. And so out of my struggle, I created Nutrition with Annie because I realized how important my temple is. It's, it's you know, our body is God's temple, and I realized how important that is. Well, I also realized just how important, how much God loves us. And so I just wanted to reciprocate. I wanted to respond to his love. So that was one of the reasons uh, why I, I did what I did in terms of trying to eat right. And I created Nutrition with Annie because I wanted other people to know just how much God loves us and uh, how much he cares for us. And if you have any doubt, 
As to his love, that looks good. You can just look at the agreement marks on that. That is ready to turn over. If you have any doubts about his love for us, just look at the cross. Look what he did on the cross for us. And uh, it just got to a point where I said to God, said, you know, God, I want you to love me. When I realized he wasn't trying to take away all of my fun, you know, just make my life miserable, he really did it because he loved me um, and I can just sense the Holy Spirit saying to me let me love you just let me love you and when I got that revelation I go you know what God I'm gonna let you love me and when I when I did say that it just opened up the avenue for him to really come in the Holy Spirit to really come in and help me through my struggles and just made it much easier for me I did struggle still but now I had him on my side while he was always on my side but I allow him to help me. And so I just want you to know that help is just a prayer way if you're struggling. And, you know, like I said, a lot of us may not admit it, but they're, you know, getting over a lifetime of bad eating habits. It's just not going to disappear overnight. It's going to take the power of the Holy Spirit to really get in there and, and just really help us out just to get through those tough times. But this is really smelling good. See so if I can get another utensil. I want to get a cleaner one just to uh, get this meat off. I don't want the one that I had the raw meat on before. I'm getting ready to take this off actually because you know what? You don't want it to dry out. You don't want it to stay on too long and to have it dry out. So I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, if you, if you want it medium, yeah, see that can come off. If you want it medium well, if you want it well done, if you want it rare, you decide um, how long you want it to stay on. Let's just do this here. I think I'm just going to, I'm a well done kind of gal, so I'm actually going to let this stay on just for a few more minutes. So my friends, um, this has been cooking for maybe about a good five minutes. Um, I'm saying on each side, and like I said, I'm a well, well done kind of gal, and so I like to have my meat well done. So this is pretty much uh, takes care of that. Now this looks really good. I think what I'm going to do, look how that is looking. That is looking really, really good. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to my skillet and maybe turn the fire down just a little bit because I have one more piece. Let's turn it down now a little bit. Doesn't need the grill is all heated up and nice and hot, so I don't need to have it real hot. The heat's in it, it's gonna maintain just because that's what cast iron does. It keeps the heat going. Let's go ahead and get this other piece of meat on here. This little piece might be a bit of a challenge. I'm gonna put it this way and think just because it's a little bit longer and it will fit better on the grill this way. So I'm going to let that cook for five minutes on each side I think. Okay so while my other piece of meat is cooking I'm just going to test this out see what it tastes like and I will let you know and I won't lie to you. Really good. I like it. It is really good. Very tender and um yeah this is really good flavor. I like this. I'll try this recipe again. So let me just um we have another little piece of this. Just because it is good. And look how, how easy it cuts too. We have to take a look at that. So, let's see. Mm-hmm. That's good. I like it. Okay, very good. Because I just came in, I need to have dinner, and so I just went ahead with the skirt steak. I told you that you can do all kinds of things with skirt steak, including the steak fajitas, but you can also do a sandwich. And a lot of times, I will do an open face sandwich because sometimes I don't need uh, both pieces of bread. I don't need to feel overstuff like I used to overstuff myself. I don't need to feel that anymore. So a lot of times I will just use an open face sandwich and then that way if I want to have something else or if I uh, want to have something small or maybe a piece of fruit or whatever, I can still have that. But just for me, and you have to learn what works best for your body, but just for me, some a lot of times I just don't need that second piece of bread. So but I just want you to take a look at what I did to assemble this. And this I just put a, I toasted some multigrain bread. I put a little bit of mustard on there because I just wanted to have a little bit of wetness to that. I put a piece of Swiss cheese. I like Swiss cheese because it's low in salt. If you want to, you could just put it under the broiler and just melt it a little bit. Or even pop it in the microwave and melt it because sometimes, you know, it's just nice and get it nice and gooey. It just makes the eating experience that much better. I also put some avocado slices on here and then tomatoes and then there's a little bit of lettuce. Remember, if you've seen some other episodes of my cooking demonstrations, you've heard me say so many times that any time that you have an opportunity to enter 
introduce fruits and vegetables in your diet, by all means, go ahead and do that. Because when you take a look at this sandwich, is this is just what health and wellness is all about. This is health maintenance. This is losing weight. This is this is really the kind of eating, clean eating that you want to do in order to lose weight. Healthy eating doesn't have to be bland. It doesn't have to be boring. So again, this is Annie Gibson with Nutrition with Annie Food Institute, learning basic skills for healthy eating. And as always, get in touch with me, Annie M. Gibson, Gibson with a P, at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you.